What's going on everybody, Jaiosari here, and today we're going to be talking about the Manor Sneak Peek for Devour. You guys are seeing this the day before, or the day after, sorry, day after, but this came out yesterday. Basically, from what I've seen so far, this is going to be an amazing map. It might be one of the better maps, in my opinion, but there are some things that I want to talk to you guys about. So without further ado, let's get started. So coming from the Devour team, they say, time for a development update. We've been hard at work on the upcoming new map, The Manor. In advance of its release this September, we are aiming for the release date of September 19th. So that is pretty close, I'm going to be honest with you. September 19th is is seven weeks from now, from Thursday, depending on when you're watching this video. They say internal playtesting has begun. We're already excited by how it's all coming together. We know it's been a longer wait this time, so thanks for sticking with us. Read on for a sneak peek at some of the original assets our team has designed for the manor. And it says click to enlarge uh, the images. So the reason you guys aren't seeing the entire Steam thing is I want to say real quick, I guess this would be spoilers. Uh, for those of you that don't want to spoil yourself with the map, you just want to go in completely blind, which I wanted to do originally, but I want to go over some things before it comes out because I want to get a little, little bit of knowledge. So a spoiler warning is gone, uh, but again if you don't want to be spoiled, click off the video. First up we have the Cursed Heads, a quick heads up, sorry we couldn't resist. On our newest ritual object. As terrifying as these ghoulish heads are, they won't be chasing you. You might have to chase them, however. Anyone got some spare gloves? So this is interesting, mainly because it's going to be the ritual object, but we're going to have to chase them around. I don't know how it's going to work, but I believe they're going to be floating around the map. And we're just going to have to catch them. My only problem with ritual items moving and I've said this multiple times to my friends as well but the in terms of difficulty the town and the inn are one of the most easiest maps ever only because the ritual item unless it gets picked up it will not move which makes it a fun map because you mainly have control over where the ritual objects will be at all times but in terms of the solar house uh, the asylum, farmhouse, where they all have the ritual object being animals, and the fact that they can all move around uh, is a little annoying. So seeing this being the ritual object, it's alright, but hopefully they're not too annoying as uh, everything that we've had so far. That is my opinion, in my opinion alone, let me know down in the comments. What are your thoughts on the cursed heads? Next up we have mirrors. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the scariest of them all? No haunted house is complete without a creepy mirror. I almost said manor. There are multiple mirrors around the map, and we worked hard to make them reflective, meaning you'll see yourself in them other players, and even April. The mirrors are part of an important mechanic never seen before in a Devour map. The ability to travel between two playable realms. We can't wait for you to find out more when the manor releases. So this is very, very interesting because whenever they released the teaser, we saw April uh, in the mirror. So I'm going to assume that's what they mean, but also being able to travel between the two playable realms. My theory on this is when you start the map, you're gonna have to imagine. When we start the map, it's gonna be this rundown manor. There'll be uh, this rundown wedding that used to be there. Then when you go through the mirror, you come out and it's all like this beautiful building. Everything's fixed up. There's no cobwebs anywhere. Then you go back and you see it's all run down. That's my thoughts on how this is going to work with uh, them saying it's a two playable realms. This could totally not be it, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think on the mirror. Next up we have font. The font was designed in a classic Victorian style as was much of the map. We'll be visiting it frequently in the manor 
any guesses why? Uh, my thoughts, it's gonna be how we defeat April. It's like the ritual area, like how we had the, the pig grinder, like the electric chair and all that. You know what I'm trying to say. But my only thoughts on why this will be the ritual spot is because you can see right here, it's uh, basically a pentagram in the middle here. So that's my thoughts. And they also say uh, you'll be visiting it frequently. So next up we have the boar platter. Looks like one of the slaughterhouse boars made it out alive for a little while at least. So this could be what or how we're supposed to get the heads, but only time will tell. And last but not least, we have the wedding cake. This stunning asset was designed to highlight that the manor was the venue for a wedding abandoned in the last minute. If no one even had time for cake, something really bad must have gone down. So I don't know what the boar platter or the wedding cake will be. Uh, if these are going to be things that we'll have to either look out for or uh, use. But it would be kind of kind of funny if the wedding cake would be uh, the thing that chases us. Like the minions, I guess. But then again, that wouldn't make any sense. We'll have to wait and see. And then they say, We think the manor is Devourer's creepiest, most chilling map yet with a classic Haunted House 5. After all, we all love a good ghost story. There will be a balance of outside and inside areas, something players have told us they enjoy about the original map, the farmhouse. Thanks again for your patience and support. As we work on the manor, we can't wait to welcome you in. And then they have their socials here if you guys want to go check them out. But yeah, so September 19th is when this map will come out. I'll probably make some videos on the other maps first and then we'll, when this comes out, we'll play this. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on the manor and basically what items your favorite and what you're most excited about. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.